The former president of USA Gymnastics is facing charges now. This is a photo of him being taken into custody down in Tennessee. Steve Penny is now accused of hiding evidence in connection to the Larry Nassar investigation. And as local force Nick Monticelli reports, this is news Nassar survivors had been waiting to hear. Good afternoon. So Steve Penny is a name that many of these athletes, these victims of Larry Nasser, have been screaming for a long time, saying he is one of the ones that enabled Nasser to abuse them for so long. Of course, that has yet to be proven in court. But when you look at this picture of his arrest last night, at least the victims, the survivors saw it, they were thrilled. You were part of an organization that, in effect, prioritized medals and money over the young women and girls. If you have been following the never ending Nasser story, Steve you'll remember the name Steve Penny. He's the former president of USA Gymnastics who resigned amidst all the allegations of Nasser's abuse. When he was hauled in front of a Senate committee investigating how Nasser's abuse could reign for so long, he refused to answer anything. My understanding is that uh, you waited 41 days to contact law enforcement. Is that correct? Again, Mr. Chairman, respectfully, I would like to answer your question. However, I've been instructed by my attorney to assert my rights under the Fifth Amendment. And you now we right. know Steve Penny was arrested last night in Tennessee, accused of tampering with evidence. He was indicted by a Texas grand jury. Prosecutors there say he ordered the removal of documents from the Caroli Ranch, where Olympic teams went to train and where many athletes were sexually abused by Nasser. The indictment alleges some of the documents were delivered to Penny at the USA Gymnastics headquarters in Indianapolis, and they remain missing, according to the Texas prosecutors. Now, this charge is a third degree felony, so if he is found guilty of evidence tampering, he could spend up to 10 years in prison. I'm Nick Monticelli, Local 4.